Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming and visiting me in my kitchen. So I have another, another fun, fun recipe for you today. Today I'm making something that's a must for ice cream, French toast. Any way you wanna put this, this is really, really good. It's a Southern praline sauce. And it's so good with ice cream. Uh, Gary loves this. It's so easy to make and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So I have here um, one and a quarter cup of pecans. I'm gonna put it right in my pan right here. This is like a little pie dish. And this is gonna go in the microwave for six minutes to make them nice and toasty. So while we're doing this, we're gonna start the rest of the recipe. So I have three tablespoons of butter, and this is salted butter, doesn't matter. So let me cut it up a little bit so it'll be easier to melt. So there is, three tablespoons goes right on top of my, my pecans. So I'm gonna put it in the microwave for three minutes. And then we're gonna start on the rest of this stuff. So here I have my little, my little burner. I'm gonna move it up here. So you see what we're doing. So there it is. So let me see. We're gonna go back a little bit. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but this is what we're gonna do. There's my little burner, so I have a saucepan on this, and I have it on high, and I have about four tablespoons uh, of butter. So I'm gonna melt that. And that's how we're gonna make our praline sauce. Pralines is brown sugar and um, corn syrup and all that good stuff, you know. So in here, we're gonna melt the butter really well. And this is not gonna take long. It's, it's gonna take about maybe five, six minutes to get this together. And then we're gonna, we're gonna melt the butter down and put the flour. We're gonna put three tablespoons of flour in here and we're gonna toast the flour to make it nice and toasty so you don't taste so you don't taste the flour taste into your sauce. So into the milk and butter, we are gonna put three tablespoons of flour. And there it goes, right in there. I'm gonna toast it a little bit just to get the, get the floury flavor out. We want it to be toasted so you don't taste the raw flour in your, in your sauce. You make it a uh, root. You know, how you make the bechamel sauce and you have to toast the flour to uh, make the um, bechamel sauce. This is exactly how you do that. So there is my timer, it's three minutes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix my pecans a little bit. Then I'm gonna put it back for another three minutes. Now the butter's all melted and so three minutes goes in there. So here our flour is all toasty. So now we're gonna do all the good stuff. Brown sugar, one and a half cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna put the ingredients under the description so you know. So that goes in here. And we're gonna put the corn syrup. This is three quarters of a cup corn syrup. That goes in here. There you go. Now we're gonna mix all this together and that's where the good stuff comes out. There you go. Now we just have to cook it a little bit to melt the sugar with the butter and the flour. Maybe about four minutes. Then we're gonna Look, at, look how good it looks. It looks so good. So. So I'm going to cook it for a little bit. 
let it bubble and get all nice and soft like caramel. Then we're gonna add the pecans and the cream and that's what's gonna make the caramel sauce. So my uh, caramel, it's already done. Look how good it looks. Oh my God, it's, it looks delicious. It smells so good. So right in here, I'm gonna put my evaporated milk and it's um, two thirds of a cup evaporated milk. So that's gonna go in here, but you gotta be really careful because it bubbles up and it goes really, really fast. So little by little, incorporate your evaporated milk in here. And we're gonna cook it for another two minutes. I cooked about three minutes before, and now this is gonna be another two, three minutes to get the evaporated milk warm and and uh, all incorporated with the caramel. So, and this is what it looks like. Look at this. Look how good it looks. Oh my God, looks delicious. So, so now I'm gonna get my uh, pecans or pecans, whatever you call them. I call them pecans. We didn't have pecans in Cyprus, where I'm from. I don't know why, but so anyway, they're nice and toasted. I toasted three minutes, mixed it all up and toasted another three minutes and they look wonderful and they smell really good. So this goes right in here. This is one of the recipes that you have to have a jar in their fridge. You have to have a jar in their fridge when company shows up. You can just pull this out, put it on top of ice cream, and you have it. such a nice dessert, not a special dessert. So I'm making French toast tomorrow, and I'm gonna put this on top of the French toast, but it's awesome, I like uh, bread pudding. And so there we are. So how long did it take? Like five, six minutes, and you have a beautiful sauce that you can Enjoy with your family. Look how nice it's bubbling, bubble bubbles. I'm gonna taste it. Hot. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. It's so good. It's even better on ice cream. So now I have my little jars here. These little penny jars. I turn this off. I have the little penny jars. And you know, you don't have to, you don't have to boil this in the hot water. I usually just make it and, and just put it in the fridge. And believe me, it's not gonna last very long. Okay, so there we are. I'm going to move this. So we have more room. So you can see what I'm doing here. There we go. Okay. So there it is. So in my little jars here. Goes right in here. I should be able to make about four little jars, three or four jars. There's one. These are little bigger jars, so I'm probably only gonna make like three. Okay, there's two. And there's my third one. And a very little left. So I'm gonna put it right in here because that's not gonna go very far. So I'm gonna put it in a little little cup and that's going to be for our ice cream dessert tonight and there we go we have three and a half jars three and a little and now we just have to cover it where it's hot when it's hot don't let it cool off because that's that's what makes it seal so I'm gonna cover those, let them cool on a K2 
kitchen counter and um, pop them in our fridge. So there it is, Southern praline sauce that is good on everything. It goes on so many things, you, you can imagine, like fresh fruit and cream and ice cream, French toast, bread pudding, anything you wanna use it for. It's delicious, it's so good, and it's so much better than the one you buy in the store. So please make it and, and spoil your family with some nice praline sauce uh, for dessert tonight. Thank you for watching and I'll uh, see you sometime soon. Bye-bye.